Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math in multiplying and dividing fractions. I personally find it easier multiplying and dividing fractions than adding and subtracting. When you're multiplying fractions, you just simply multiply the numerator, numerators, and then multiply the denominators, and then you simplify the fraction. And then when you divide, you keep change and flip, and then follow the rules of multiplication and simplify if you can. So let's look at a couple examples so that you'll have uh, an idea of how to multiply and divide fractions. In this first one, it's literally you multiply 1 times 5, and then 2 times 4, and that equals 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 4 is 8, and then if you can, you will simplify, and in this case, you cannot simplify any further. Let's work at a couple more examples. In this next one, you have 2 times 11 over 3 times 6, okay? 2 times 11 is 22, and 3 times 6 is 18. Well, at this point, I know I can simplify, and I'm going to start. I know I can divide each one by 2, so 22 divided by 2 is equal to 11, and 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9, and then at this point, it is simplified. Okay, let's do one more division and then we'll look at some, um, excuse me, one more multiplication and then we'll look at some division. 3 halves times 4 over 9, 4 ninths. So 3 times 4 over 2 times 9. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 9 is 18. In this case, I know that uh, they are divisible by 2, but I also know they're divisible by 6. So I'll divide 12 by 6 is equal to 2. And 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. So it becomes 2 thirds. Now let's look at some division. And they're very similar to multiplication. The only thing we do differently is we set it up a little bit different and we keep change and flip. So we keep the first fraction. We change the sign to multiplication, and we flip the second fraction um, upside down, or we create it, its reciprocal. We then just multiply straight across. 1 times 6 over 4 times 2. 1 times 6 is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. It is not simplified. I know I can divide each by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And finally, let's look at the last example. We have 3 halves divided by 4 ninths. And so we keep, we change, and we flip. Okay, 9 times 3 is 27. And 2 times 4 is 8. And at this point, this is simplified because uh, 2 will not go into it uh, anyway. So we would keep it at 27 over 8. Hope this helped. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day. Please subscribe or share.